Welcome to Prayer and Bible Band. Lesson 6, First Week Power to Receive Good Things from God Background Reading Deuteronomy 33, verse 6 Let Reuben live and not die, nor his people be few. Psalm 84, verse 11 For the Lord God is a sun and shield, the Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. Ecclesiastes 2 verse 24 A person can do nothing better than to eat and drink and find satisfaction in their own toil. This too, I see, is from the hand of God. Luke 11 verse 13 If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Luke 12, verse 32. Do not be afraid, little flock, for your Father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. Romans 8, verse 28. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. 2 Corinthians 9, verse 8. And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Titus 2 verses 9 to 10 9. Teach slaves to be subject to their masters in everything, to try to please them, not to talk back to them. 10. And not to steal from them, but to show that they can be fully trusted, so that in every way they will make the teaching about God our Savior attractive. Devotional Reading Joshua 23 verses 1 to 15 1. After a long time had passed and the Lord had given Israel rest from all their enemies around them, Joshua, by then a very old man too, summoned all Israel, their elders, leaders, judges, and officials, and said to them, I am very old. 3. You yourselves have seen everything the Lord your God has done to all these nations for your sake. It was the Lord your God who fought for you. 4. Remember how I have allotted as an inheritance for your tribes all the land of the nations that remain the nations I conquered between the Jordan and the Mediterranean Sea in the West. 5. The Lord your God himself will push them out for your sake. He will drive them out before you, and you will take possession of their land, as the Lord your God promised you. 6. Be very strong. Be careful to obey all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, without turning aside to the right or to the left. 7. Do not associate with these nations that remain among you. Do not invoke the names of their gods or swear by them. You must not serve them or bow down to them. 8. But you are to hold fast to the Lord your God, as you have until now. 9. The Lord has driven out before you great and powerful nations. To this day no one has been able to withstand you. 10. One of you routes a thousand, because the Lord your God fights for you, just as he promised. 11. So be very careful to love the Lord your God. 12. But if you turn away and ally yourselves with the survivors of these nations that remain among you, and if you intermarry with them and associate with them, 13, then you may be sure that the Lord your God will no longer drive out these nations before you. Instead, they will become snares and traps for you, whips on your backs and thorns in your eyes, until you perish from this good land, which the Lord your God has given you. 14. Now I am about to go the way of all the earth. You know with all your heart and soul that not one of all the good promises the Lord your God gave you has failed. Every promise has been fulfilled. Not one has failed. 15. But just as all the good things the Lord your God has promised you have come to you, so he will bring on you all the evil things he has threatened until the Lord your God has destroyed you from this good land he has given you. Central Verse your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholden good things from you. Jeremiah 5 verse 25, KJV Your wickedness has deprived you of these wonderful blessings. Your sin has robbed you of all these good things. 
Jeremiah 5 verse 25, NLT. Key terms. Iniquity, gross injustice, a wicked act or thing. Masterpiece, a work done with extraordinary skill, a supreme intellectual or artistic achievement. Unique, being the only one, being without a like or equal, able to be distinguished from all others of its class or type. Introduction A person raised in a Christian home has always been taught that God is his heavenly father and that he loves and cares about his children. Whatever concerns his children concerns him. He tells his children to cast all their cares upon him, for he cares about whatever it is that bothers his children. God says that if humans, who are basically evil, without God in their lives, know how to give good gifts, how much more does he know how to give good things to those who ask for them? God knows what things his children have need of, but he wants his children to communicate with him and ask him for what they want. Some children have problems communicating with their heavenly father because of the negative relationship they have had with their earthly father. But he needs to learn and know that God is a righteous father and he is good and perfect all the time. Discussion. Sometimes it has been necessary for some people to experience negative things in their relationships in the natural family life to be able to appreciate and bring them to the good things that God has in store for them. Living in a society that is in love with self can sometimes cause a person to become unhappy and unfulfilled because their focus has been primarily on themselves. Many times, they do not know or don't remember that they were not created for themselves. They don't remember or don't know that they were created to give glory to God. They are not aware that they have been chosen for a greater purpose than just being happy for the sake of being happy. When a person becomes aware that his purpose includes living according to God's good pleasure and his will, it changes his entire perspective on his life. The believer has the privilege to just ask, seek, and knock, and so many good things become available to him. Matthew 7 verses 7 to 8. God is a loving, compassionate God who desires to give every good and perfect gift to his children. But they must be aware of that and be positioned to receive the gifts that God has to offer. For he daily loads his children with benefits. Jesus told his disciples to ask for his kingdom to come in their lives when they pray. He wants each believer to experience his kingdom, which is not meat nor drink, but it is joy and peace in the Holy Ghost. But the believers must be willing to deny themselves of some of their fleshly desires and walk in the fruit of the Spirit and increase their trust in their God. Only then can the believer enjoy and receive the kingdom blessings while he lives here on earth. As dear children, they must learn to know and become comfortable with their Heavenly Father. As they develop a relationship with Him, they will become comfortable being in His arms. Realizing that they are safe in His arms because all fear is gone, only love, power, and soundness of mind remain. God wants His children to know that He is the Father of the fatherless. He is Father to those who are directionless, for He is a God of leadership, and wants to lead those who have no leader. He is a good God who wants to lead you in paths of righteousness as he leads your heart. In a world that leaves believers sad, empty, burned out, and isolated, God wants to lead you to purpose, significance, to connection, joy, and peace. He wants you to enjoy the abundant life that he so freely gives. Conclusion Every believer needs to know that God designed them to see him, know his character, and let the truth of his goodness lead to a deeper relationship with him. When a believer can see God for who he is, his heart will become stirred to find rest in his goodness and love and seek to be like his wonderful character. Remember that God did not make a mistake when he made you. You may be the result of what someone labeled a mistake, but not so with God. He gave you your unique gifts that are a part of the calling that is on your life, and you must remember just how special you are. Really, you are God's masterpiece, and you need to walk and talk in God's goodness with a fresh energy from the Holy Spirit. Questions 
Why is it necessary to have power to receive certain things? What are some of the good things that God does for his children? Why is God so good to his children? Essential thought. Just ask for what you need and receive it. Thanks for listening and to God be the glory.